Welcome back, everyone. I am in studio. I, it's not B. It's not for bathroom. I am in studio D. Uh, I am on location in a southern warm place enjoying a little bit of fun. I, I wouldn't call it R&R &R because I am having a ball and it is busy. We're trading all day. We're, we're having fun. It's in the, the land, what is it called? The House of Mouse? Yeah, I'm having a little vacay here with the missus as well as getting some good research done. It's been fun. Now, welcome back, everyone. For those who do not know, I released, I dropped the newest six-pack. I call it the Stock Most uh, Baker's six pack today i don't know if that all makes sense but i dropped seven plays i got a bonus play a couple uh we, we played some dogs on the puts played some some runners on the calls a nice mix we're gonna see how things go and on top of that we ended up having i think i threw out a, a, a white collar option as well last week i had three to start this week we're gonna do a little bit more slow but steady uh, but there's a lot of people out there that could come over and join. If you have not done it, join thousands of people who have. Click the first link right here. Once you click it, go to site. Once you click go to site, and we're down to just a couple of days left. You got to hit get access right here and put in Mo. Once you put in Mo, code Mo, and it's only good for a couple more days, you will save 20%. So do it now before it expires. Uh, yeah, and of course, the markets today, as you can see, I was watching a little bit of TMF, doing some research. You got the election coming up, and it's throwing havoc in everything. I made a ton of plays early today. I usually wait till the end of Monday, later in the afternoon, two to four, to drop my uh, six pack on folks. But today I did a little bit earlier, and it, you know, it never goes to, you know, kind of hit you here. So as you get the little rebound, back down you go. A little rebound, back down you go. A little rebound, back down you go. And then the collapse by the end of the day. And it's hard to, it's hard to know when that's going to happen. If we had that crystal ball, we'd all be billionaires, right? But with that being said, I use the daily candles on the moves I make. And so a couple of them started to run nicely and other ones, not so much. But we're going to dig into what, I, what I'm seeing with the market. The election's coming up. Let's just make... Sure, we all understand what's going on. At the end of the day, no matter what you believe is going to happen, what you want to happen, at the end, we don't know. We don't know until the event comes, which is on Tuesday. And not this Tuesday, not today, not today. One week from today, all of the drama, hopefully, will be over. And we will know who is going to be the next president, the next Senate, the next House of Representatives, will it be all blue? Will it be all red? Will it be a split, which I have talked about many a times, being most likely what would be best for the stock market? We have seen tons and tons of financial history on what makes up the best stock market. And you know what? It always wins. It is the split government. When everyone has a voice, the market responds the best. And I'm just telling you what the facts are. It doesn't mean that it's gonna be how it is. And I'm just gonna play what the markets are telling us and continue to make the best moves. So I got seven days to get my portfolio all set up and I'll be doing lots of plays uh, to do that. I've been freeing up a lot of money, a lot of money. So I'll be pulling that trigger over the next five trading days. For those who have not joined the Discord, like I said, you're gonna, you should get in there now because the moves are gonna be coming fast and furious and I'm excited about it. Now, the thing is, you guys let me know down below what you think. Should I take the chance and move into some of the moves and be a little bit greedy? Should I be a little bit greedy? Should I get a little greedy going into the election, try to play some of the polls and all that good stuff? Or should I just play it safe? Wait till the election's over and play it afterwards. And there's a couple percentage points there, probably three to five percentage points I can get if I hit it. And if I miss, I'll probably lose probably probably two to four. I don't actually think I'll lose as much as I would make. So this is one of them situations where if I hit it and I call the right, the winner, and, and, the, and when I say the winner, I'm talking, you're looking at the overall market as well in terms of the House, the Senate, and the presidency. And I think you'll see the market react a certain way 
for each candidate. And I, there are ways to play each candidate. And if you're with Harris, I already told you this. You wanna look at renewable energy, you wanna look at the EVs, and you wanna look at the marijuana place. If you're with Trump, you gotta be looking at the financials. You gotta be looking at some of that energy play. Uh, and that, that's, you know, cause he wants to roll back regulations for financials, help out the, the energy industry. And of course, crypto. Crypto being one of the biggest plays. And some people said to me, well, it's one of the safest plays you think. And it, not that it's safe, but safe in terms of it doesn't really matter who wins. And I, I always look at that and I think, you know, I look at utilities, boring utilities. You know what's blowing up right now? AI. You know what AI runs on? Energy and a lot of it. It takes a ton of energy to run the data servers, the AI, all of this and more. And it continues to grow and outgrow the energy. And so you know who's going to be able to make a mint? It's going to be the utility companies. These companies, as they increase that energy production, all that good stuff, they're going to make so much money. So for those who have been looking for a little stockmo sleeper, look at the utilities. Find where the data centers are being built for these major AI projects. Find out who the supplier of energy is for these centers. And on top of that, find out the, the stock ticker symbol. Once you know that, you got yourself a play. Probably over the next 5, 10, 15, 20 years, you're gonna make a substantial amount of money as that income comes in, the revenue increases, and the shareholders get paid. And so if you've been waiting and you're like, well, I'm willing to put in a little bit of research, that's how you do it. And that is how it's done. That's how the, the rich get richer and those who wanna get rich who do the research, get rich with them. And that's what it's about. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the cues. And I know a lot of people have been watching the markets. They wanna figure out what's going on. And I, I got to tell you, it's in a it's in a bullish move. I didn't. I know it wasn't fun today. You get into some of the plays, and all of a sudden the market. You see the candle turn red down. So you had this massive, nice start up. Hey, we're starting good, and down we come. And unfortunately, that is the way. And you can see we finished on a low. I hate finishing on lows. When you finish on a low, it's it's just. You know, you have all these hopes, dreams, and everything, and by the end of the day, it's like, nope, back down do we go. Uh, I am still bullish on this, just to tell you. As you can see, we hit the resistance or support, go up the resistance, down to the 13, back up the resistance, back down to the 13, back down to the 13. Now we're moving back up. We have not hit that resistance. So I am under the impression that will be a little bit of sideways, but continuing up. You can see we broke this level of resistance here and we got up. Now we're kind of confirming up, kind of, right? And now we are hoping for a massive green to push us up to the next level. We had it to start back down. So the bears are fighting tooth and nail at this level and it should not be discounted because there's some, we don't know for sure if we're gonna win this battle, but I still believe we will. I still believe that November is going to be a monster month for people who are invested in the markets. History has shown us these election months of November through the decades have paid off nicely, especially following a major run in the stock market overall. And for those saying, oh, it can't go much higher. Listen, folks. I, trust me, I know I put out some videos warning of a stock market crash. And if you watched any of them, not just the thumbnails, but you actually watched them, I told you that crash wouldn't even start anywhere near but 2025. We, I'm figuring Q1 is my base case and Q2 is the backup. And I'm not sure. The more the data comes in hot, you got to push it down. Doesn't mean it's not going to happen but you got to adjust your timeline just like the Fed does. When the Fed adjusts, I adjust, all right? So it has to be late Q1 right now is what I'm looking at. And so maybe March we get our, our, our first real big sign of ugliness. And it could happen before then. You know, after the holidays, we're going to see massive layoffs. Could we see some ugliness out there in the jobs market? Absolutely possible. And as people have to tighten the belt after the holidays, you guys know what it's like. You want to go out and get the kids everything, buy everybody nice gifts and everything. And then all of a sudden you get the bill in January and you're like, what did you buy? What did we do? And you start weighing all of the stuff you got to do. And now all of a sudden you're not getting that Starbucks coffee. You're starting to pull back. You got to start working low T 
And more importantly, you're just not spending as much money. And if that happens on a large scale with all the student loans that are now due in October, and you got to start paying now or it hits your credit report, that means everybody's back on the hook for all this student loan money. I think November and December is the last, that really comes down to the last moments of this bull run that lasted years. I think it's over going into Q1, and that's what I've been talking about. And so that, that's the big warning I had for you. A little update on the markets. I'm still bullish. Uh, the price we'd need to really break down, as you can see here, if we'd have to come all the way down here, I don't think we're gonna hit 482.92, but we could. And if we do, folks, that's a bad, bad sign, but that's your last, right here's the, the support I'm following, but if we did break down to the 50, it'd be okay as long as we didn't break the 50 and confirm below. Uh, but for now, we're waiting to see. So a drop going into the election, I wouldn't panic. A drop after the election, I really would panic. So we're going to wait and see if any of that happens. Now, the other thing, if you haven't done it, click that first link, get over there, join today while you can. Use code MO, second link right here for Moomoo. Once you click that link, come on over, put $100 in. You get eight free stocks, put 1000 in or more, you get all 20. And this is the best part. You get 8.1% APY risk-free. And this is for three months. Go to a bank, go anywhere. See if you get 8.1% APY. You won't. I, I, if you do, let me know because I'm putting my money in there. And you got a limited time for this, but you have to use my link. If you don't use my link, you don't get as many free stocks. All right, that is the update for today, folks. I appreciate you stopping by. I'll see you in the Discord.